Okay, so thanks for showing me the options. Um, I am interested, but I've been seeing on the labels there's this Google Assistant. I uh, was just wondering if you tell me a bit about that. Okay, yeah, of course. Google Assistant is pretty much your own personal Google inside the remote control. So you can use that voice search feature to access all of your favorite apps. So if you give a quick example now. Okay. Open YouTube. Oh, wow. And there you go. You can see we've opened up yeah. YouTube on there. Okay, um, that's pretty cool. You can get all your favorite apps as well. So you've got Netflix and Amazon and all the catch-up TV services. Any other questions you had? Um, yeah, I mean, does it do anything else a bit more practical, you know, like for, for, you know, for the start of my day, for example? Okay. Well, yeah, say you were watching TV in the morning and maybe you were having a family day out or something. You can always use the Google Assistant to help you maybe if you weren't sure what the weather's going to be like. So if we go, tell me what the weather's going to be like in Reading today. In Reading today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecast high of 13 and a low of 7. Currently it's 13 and partly cloudy. There we go. Oh, sorry, one more thing actually, mate. Um, my friend can't decide between the LG or the Sony. Do you know which one's actually better? Um, well, we can actually use the Google Assistant to help us answer that question. So if we just go, okay. which TV is better, Sony or LG? According to Cora, Sony TVs will generally have better picture quality than LG TVs. 